today we're applying a little bit of anhydrous. Anhydrous is one of the most high concentrated forms of nitrogen that you can put down. It's 82% nitrogen for the product compared to like most of your liquids, which are either 28%, 32%. Um, so this is the best bang for your bucket per volume. We've always put it on. We put it on twice a year. Uh, once right before we drill it, and then the other time is right before we plant, in either coming in or in February to do it, or doing it in the fall whenever it's still cold out. So we're running a 2310H. You probably can't see it because it's a little dry back there. But this is a 2310H, it's a 23 row and hydrous bar. It's a disc unit. And I'm pulling double tanks right now. So these are the row units on the bar itself. So really there's two kinds. There's the disc unit, which is what this is, and then there's a knife unit. The knife shanks it in, so it's more of a tillage tool. Well, this is designed to be a no-till unit. It's got the same kind of scraper and disc setup as most of your disc drills would. And then there on the bottom, there's an orifice. And that's where most of the anhydrous comes out as it gets injected from the tool. Um, and then these two closing wheels, they just close the trench as you go. Cause you can run up to eight mile an hour with this machine in smooth conditions. It's made for speed. So when all your fertilizer is coming out of these tanks, which is in hydrous ammonia, and it gets fed through the lines up to this cooler, then the cooler is designed to take it from a gas form back down to a liquid form. So when you inject it in the ground, you have less losses. Cause a lot of times with an hydrous, if you don't get that trench sealed properly or you don't get it put in moisture like you should, you're gonna lose it. It's gonna vaporize back into the air or volatize after a couple days. The only complaint about a tool like this really is uh, it is very expensive to run. So you can get probably like five, 6,000 acres out of a rebuild in optimal conditions. Um, but then you have to start replacing those scrapers, the discs, uh, the beaver tails on the back. There's a lot of replaceable parts that wear out really quick in sandy conditions. Um, so as far as rebuilds go, it can get expensive. But it's a very effective product and it does an excellent job for what it's supposed to do. I mean, as far as the rebuilds go, it is expensive, yes. But what you're saving in applying anhydrous versus like imply, applying a dry or a liquid, where that price per pound of nitrogen is a lot higher, it, it kind of makes up for it. It makes it a little cheaper. So in the end, you're still ahead versus if you apply, apply liquid over all the acres. Now the only bad part is, is this is probably one of the most dangerous fertilizers that you can apply. The vapor from it, um, it likes, it, it'll bond to, to water. It bonds to the hydrogen in the water. Um, so like if you walk out and that dusts you out, it's gonna bond to all of the, the water in your eyes. If you breathe it in, it locks up all the air in your lungs. So all in all, it is an extremely dangerous product, but so is everything else that you apply in farming. Chemicals, liquid fertilizer, dry fertilizer, it's all dangerous in its own way. If you respect the product, treat it how it should, be safe in everything you do and just take your time it's not a race. You'll be just fine. There's a lot of people that are trying to phase out hydrous completely. Just they don't feel like it helps their operation. It's more of a hazard. But for us, we bought a brand new bar three years ago and it has been wonderful. It's been a super safe setup. The most dangerous part about it really is switching tanks. Joe's tanks back there, you gotta switch. For what we're putting on, we switch about three times a day. So not horrible. But whenever that time comes that you have to switch, it's you can be exposed to it pretty quick. Well, I'm out in these tanks, so now it's time to switch. So whenever you park, you always want to park to the side that you can get to the valves with the wind at your back, so it blows all the gas away from you.
finished up with everything on the west side of town. We're closing it up, moving out.